I think that having spent 60 odd years in the trade, um, I do say that I've got so much egg on my face it doesn't show anymore. We're passing bookbinders. There have been bookbinders before us and there will be in the future. And so we owe a debt of gratitude to the people who taught us, just as we have the responsibility to pass it on. What's your legacy then? If you, if, if you well, the students, is not it? Yeah. Those people who have um, benefited and who go out into the world to develop their own craftsmanship mm. and become binders and conservators or, or whatever. If students give you the responsibility of two years of their lives, you have to actually take that on board and recognise that at the end of those two years they should be as primed as possible. She taught me that thing about the logical steps of craft and that you can't get away with making mistakes early on. They'll always show later even if you think you You'll just be able to manage somehow. I wonder what keeps her going. Oh, I think it's just love of what she does. She lives and breathes books. They say she's quite fierce, mm. but she's one of the she's one of the loveliest people that you could meet. But you can also see how she could be fierce. Jolly good. Well done. Yes. That's lovely. Successful. That's very nice too. I know it's a bit cockeyed, but. Um, <laughs> Okay, we live and learn, we live and learn. Somebody told me that you're not the tidiest person in the world, Maureen. Is that true? It's absolutely true, yes. I, got I don't worry. make any... Um... See how nice and tidy it is? Yes. is it, so your home, has it got quite sort of minimalist and all clean lines, is it? Japanese-y sort not of stuff? I've heard. <laughs> Hers is. No, it's talking about yours. Mine? <laughs> oh, mine is on the verge of chaos. <laughs> I live with Maureen and, and I went to college. Mm. You went to college and you became a, a, a student? What, yes. And what, what prompted you to do that? So I could understand what you were talking about, actually. <laughs> Every craft has, or craftsman, has a, a, a solitude which we need, but uh, it's sometimes more than solitude, it's loneliness. <laughs>